Bedtime Star is made for you by Diggy and George. The Deer and the Elephant Dina the deer sat alone under a tree. No one wanted to play with her because she was dirty. Ever since, Ren the crow told her that if she took a bath, she would turn into a peacock, Dina stopped going to the riverside. Dina had never seen a peacock, but Ren told her peacocks were ugly birds. Five days later, it was Shara the tiger's birthday. All animals had been invited to the party except Dina. I want all my guests to be clean and smell good, Shara had said. Dina wept silently to herself. What was she to do? It was on such a morning that Ellie the young elephant came to visit her aunt in the evergreen forest from the black forest. Ellie saw a young deer weeping and wanted to know the reason for her misery. On hearing everything, Ellie smiled to herself. Hop and to my back, Ellie said, I will take you somewhere. Ellie's aunt lived at the end of the forest, and next to her house lived Tony the peacock. As they approached the end of the forest, Dina saw a bird with all its feathers spread in blue, green, brown, and yellow. The shimmering use of the peacock's feathers made Dina gasp. What is this? A peacock, Ali smiled. Dina could not believe her eyes. She thought that in case she turned into a peacock after taking a bath, her friends would not consider her to be ugly at least, and she could attend the tiger's pretty party and look nice and clean. The next day, Dina followed Ellie to the riverside. The elephant filled her trunk with water and sprinkled it on the deer. To her utter surprise and glee, Dina remained a deer and did not turn into a peacock. Soon, Dina was washed and clean again. All her friends came back to her. The tiger heard about it and invited Dina to the party. A special invitee was, of course, Ali the elephant for making the impossible happen. Ren the crow, who had purposely scared Dina for fun, faced the animosity of the animals and decided to leave the forest for good.